Praise the Lord. Ave Maria. Wish you a very happy and solemn feast of annunciation. Let us share one another the prayers and blessings of this great day. In the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 11 verse 42, we have a prayer of Jesus to the Heavenly Father. I know that you always hear me. Immediately after this prayer, Lazarus, who was dead and buried, comes out of the grave alive. I remember a little prayer of Venerable Maria Teresa Kovade from Madrid, Spain. She was born on a holy Saturday and died on another holy Saturday. Just lived 7,299 days on earth. She had tuberculosis meningitis and died of it, perfectly fulfilling her consecrated life. On 13th of December, 1944, She had an exciting day for a number of students at the Carmelite Sisters of Charities High School in Madrid. Recently, a sodality of Our Lady had been formed and the girls were to make their consecration and choose their motto that day. 13 years old Teresita Kovade wrote out her chosen motto in which she had expressed an immense aspiration. Mother, may those who see me see you. Mother, may those who see me see you. The motto was etched on her medal of the sodality. On day in May, 1947, Teresita was praying in the chapel with the other students when almost without knowing what she was saying, she asked the Virgin, Mother, give me a religious vocation. Later, she confessed to a friend, When I came out of chapel, I ended a terrible time of fear. I thought, what, if she takes me seriously and gives me one? Mary was her life is the title of perhaps the only full length biography of Teresita in English and as we all see she fully merited such a description her love for Mary took root early on as her father taught her to begin every day with an offering to our lady with the words o oh, sweet virgin mary My mother, I offer myself today completely to you. I beg you to give my body, eyes, ears and tongue, my heart and soul to Jesus. I am all yours. Holy Mother of God, watch over me. Her devotion to St. Therese of Lisieux and intimacy with the method of consecration by St. Louis the Montfort was her foundation. The little way was not the only thing that tied Teresita to the little flower. As both followed the way of spiritual childhood, both were entitled as it were to childlike wishes. As St. Therese wished for snow on her entrance day to Carmel, so did Teresita. And while February 22 proved to be a clear, warm, sunny day, Teresita woke up on her entrance day to a beautiful, snow-covered city. Our Lady was going to ask much of Teresita from that day forward. And Mother, that she is, she wanted to give her child 
one more proof of her love one final caress as she left home with the great love of all the saints who consecrated themselves to the immaculate heart of mother mary let us consecrate ourselves in the whole world to the immaculate heart of mother mary let us pray that the victory of the immaculate heart of mother mary be fulfilled in all the hearts praise the lord ave maria please subscribe my youtube channel through which i can share the miracle of love through my hermitage life in the first tabernacle chapel